want to share with you. And I know these are, you know, um, maybe different points, but all of these are good for us to understand the significance of Christ being the land. Okay, now I'm going to need um, an Adam. Stephen, you are an Adam uh, or man. Come, come here. Come here. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, Stephen, you are. Okay. So. This is the problem with men, and you will see in a moment what is God's intention, especially as it is revealed in the book of Colossians. Okay, get ready, because I'm going to show to you what is the central thought of the book of Colossians. Okay, here is this man. Okay, at the beginning, he and God enjoyed one another's presence. But this man fell and eventually became a wanderer. So he went away from God. And as he was going away, he developed some substitutes of what I was for him. Before he went away, I was everything to him. Now he's away from me, he's a wanderer, and a lot of things get developed to substitute me. He develops ways to provide food for himself. Pleasure. I used to be his pleasure. Now he has to develop pleasure, entertainment. I was his protection. Now he needs to develop something like weapons to protect himself. Okay? So when he is wandering, he picks up a lot of things that are substitutes of what Christ should be to him. Okay, so that wandering person has a lot of things. I don't know, I need, I need some things like, uh, okay, right here. Okay, so you stand right here, brother. So he's a wanderer, and away from God, he has picked up all these substitutes, right? All these things, you can, okay, and maybe another one. Okay, all the things. You see, things like, things like, you know, his uh, national philosophy, his domestic logic, things like culture, like uh, religious practices. Uh, Even he has learned how to, to be or to do good without God. He has become an ethical person. A lot of good things, especially the good substitutes, those are hard to detect. But he picked this up away from God. So, this is a central thought in in Colossians. That God's intention in his economy is to send his son. (laughs) That is the son. Okay? This is my son. And now he's going to go and redeem that wanderer lost man and bring him back so that he and I can be one. So, go ahead and bring him back. So he goes, well, he tries it in a nicer way, but uh, (laughs) okay, so so he brings him back, right? But there is a problem. He has all these substitutes. So according to the book of Colossians, God wants this Christ to be a replacement of all these substitutes. And that's why Christ in the book of Colossians is revealed as an extensive, vast Christ. He is actually the land to replace all these things. Okay? So the Lord really needs to open our eyes to see this matter. That there are many things, uh, again, our philosophy, our logic, our goodness, our own natural humility, right? Even our ways to worship God. They have, he's loaded with these things. So when he's loaded, he has no capacity to embrace Christ. But as these things are replaced by Christ, one after the other, right? Then he can embrace Christ, right? Can you embrace Christ now? Okay. Yes, okay. Yay. Very good. So, that is the central thought. What is, this is yours? Yeah. Okay. Uh, How about this? Yeah, this okay. Here, that so, that's the central thought 
in the book of Colossians. God wants his Christ to be everything to us. Eventually, chapter 3 says that Christ should be all and in all. 